What is going on everyone? Welcome to my channel and welcome to the segment that is known as Tea Time with Tyler James. As you may have guessed, I am your host on this adventure, Tyler James. And today we're going to talk about something that really grinds my gears. Something that just generally bothers me and I have to get it off my chest and also warn you against. Because I care. I care about your well-being and I think everyone should hear this. As a side note, I do realize I talk with my hands a lot. I'm a little bit of an aggressive hand talker. I saw the comments you guys were leaving in the comments section of the last Q&A video. Link is in the description. And that's just how I've always been. A lot of old co-workers used to make fun of me for it, so we're all gonna have to get used to it because that's what I do, okay? Now, before we get this party started, I have to thank all the returning subscribers. Thank you for constantly supporting the channel, hitting that like button, and leaving comments in the comments section down below. I love interacting with you all, and to anyone new who's joining the channel, click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. You know how it works. If you don't do either of those things, you'll never see these videos and they'll never pop up on your feed, and I would hate to lose you on any new content. Now let's get right into things and roll that intro. Today we're going to be talking about online personal trainers slash fitness instructors and what you guys need to watch out for. Over the last couple years I've seen a huge push and influx for this online personal coaching and it's really starting to tick me off because a lot of these people are liars and scammers and are just out there to steal your money. Let's get real for a minute, okay? Sure, there are genuine instructors out there who are trying to help you and they have great ideas. I mean, this is how we all learn is by helping each other. But I wanna say like 90% of the community out there are just liars and cheats and they're trying to steal your money. These people probably sat in a seminar where some salesman told them about the new scam that is personal training because you can set up this generic online program where people have to spend 30 or $100 to sign up for. And it's a subscription service, I'm sure. So it's just gonna keep taking your money unless you unsubscribe to it somehow, which is probably always some difficult thing to do. So they'll hit you with these generic meal plans and these generic workouts and well, let's do a, a body test. Take this survey to do a body test to see which category you fall into. But I'm gonna tell you right now that it's just not that easy. If you see someone you're interested in being an online coach to you, and in their captions they talk about making $100,000 this month and $300,000 a year, and they take on some 3,000 clients, that is definitely not the person you wanna be with because that person is a liar. I guarantee it. These people are manipulators and this new push to be an online fitness instructor so that they can call themselves entrepreneurs is just another way for them to take your money. Now I know the world is full of hypocrisy and I myself may come out with a fitness plan or some way to help people in the future, but that will be because I genuinely care about my product and genuinely care about the well-being of others that I want to share this knowledge and help people. I mentioned in a previous video that I'm more of a master and apprentice sort of a teacher. I'm not really gonna take on thousands of clients and that's because I don't feel like I can help you on that level. Everybody's body and mind is different and they're gonna need special attention that you just can't do if you have more than like five or 10 clients. So I'm sitting here before you to just tell you to keep your head on a swivel and to look into these accounts and look into these people to see if there's any truth to what they're saying. Again, if they're boasting about how much they make and how many clients they have, it's probably a lie. So all I'm saying is, don't be sheep, all right? Go out there and be wolves. I'll tell you right now, everything I learned, you may have seen my body structure in previous videos, but everything I have learned, I learned on my own by doing my own research and testing it out in the field. Actually, as a side story, I did have one personal trainer in my life. It was a boxing instructor who I had for a couple years, and this guy was absolutely awesome. He always encouraged me to train, and sometimes when I would be short on money or not able to pay him 
uh, weekly or monthly or whenever the money was due, he would say, don't worry about it. Let's just keep training. You'll get me on the next one. I know you will. And it's people like that. Those are the people you want to invest in. Those are the people you have to trust. So I'm not saying every personal trainer on Instagram or YouTube is a liar, but probably 90% of them are. Yes, there are genuine people out there, but they are very hard to find and you just need to do a little more research when you're looking for someone to coach you and teach you about meal plans and workout plans and what next steps you'll need to take to achieve the level of fitness that you're looking for. Another thing that really grinds my gears is these influencers, sometimes models, that call all their fans and followers babes or my loves. First of all, you don't know them like that and you don't know me like that, so don't call me my babe or my love. I ain't your babe, and I ain't your love. And none of those people are either. So don't be calling us some childish nickname. Come up with something else. Something a little bit more respectful, since we're human beings. Oh, how are my babes doing? Just sitting down and enjoying coffee this morning, hoping all my loveys are doing well. Makes me want to slam my face into a table. Makes me want to go knock on their door and ask them, what the heck are you doing, all right? Why are you using this stupid nickname to talk to these people that respect you? I don't know, it might just be like a slang thing for the generation, but it, I, it really bothers me every time I see that in someone's posts. And it happens often. You might see it out there on some of the models and influencers that you follow, because it's out there a lot. I see it daily, and it bothers me to no end. So ladies and men, if you're still doing this, stop calling followers and fans my babes or my loves, all right? It bothers me, and it should bother you too. Another thing that really grinds my gears is these people who have bought fake followers to make their accounts look successful. What happened to the days where you just worked hard to find success? Now I get it, we're in a digital time and it's easy to buy followers, likes, and views. I don't know, call me old fashioned, but I believe in hard work and dedication. I have worked for years to build the social media following that I have. And you can tell that they are all genuine, active fans because of the level of engagement I get to the amount of followers that I have. And this sort of ties into that online personal trainer thing. If you see someone boasting some 300,000 and they're only getting 2,000 likes with like 30 comments, I guarantee you that that account is fake. And that person cut corners which means they're gonna cut corners on helping you, and they're manipulators and scammers, and they should not be trusted. I don't know how any of these brands do business with people like that. I wouldn't trust them. If they're so easily willing to cut corners like that and not earn their success, then how can you trust them with anything? That's just my opinion anyway. Granted, I understand that some of the old accounts, you know, may have followers that have come and gone, so the interaction is not what it used to be. I could see how that could happen sometimes, but for the majority, that's not gonna be the case. So to recap on things that really grind my gears, one, fake personal trainers. Watch out for them, everyone. Do your research and make sure you trust this person before you pay them any money or sign up for any subscription. Number two, influencers. Do not call people your babes or your loves, all right? I'm tired of it. Let's try and head in a different direction here. And number three, people that buy followers on social media. You're some of the lowest scum on the earth, okay? You should try and earn your success like the rest of us who work very hard every day. Stop trying to cut corners in your business. Stop trying to cut corners in your life. Put your nose to the grindstone and get to work. Now that I got that off my chest, why don't we talk about a little bit of other news? What have I got going on? It is uh, gonna be St. Patrick's Day in a little over a week, hence the green and the mug, if you notice the featured little mug here. What else do we have going on? I might be taking a little trip to sunny San Diego for a few days, so there might be a vlog about that, we'll see. Oh, in the previous Tea Times, I've been asking for a nickname, something that we can all appreciate, something that's not like my loves or my babes, and I really liked a lot of your submissions, so thank you for submitting those but I was thinking something along the lines of Pack of Rebels or Rebel Pack, Tyler James, Pack of Rebels. It's a little long, but that's kind of where I'm settling. I'm kind of settling in that direction. So if you guys can help me finalize that, I'd really appreciate it. Also in other news, we've got a hater amongst us, everyone. There is a hater that is trolling my YouTube account. Someone popped on there and left a nasty comment, and then, hey, the next day I noticed that there was one thumbs down 
on my most recent 10 videos. Coincidence? I think not. The reason I can track this very easily is because I don't get a lot of views or likes or comments, so it's very easy to see when one thumbs down happens on 10 videos. So if you're the hater that's out there, I don't know what you're so upset about, but it might be time to move on, okay? I don't know what brings you to constantly come back to my videos just so you can put a thumbs down on them. I hope you feel better about yourself, but I think it might be time to move on in another direction. We are all about positivity and support here. And granted, I do understand that as the channel grows, there's gonna be people that don't like the videos and there's gonna be people that love the videos. So I will get more thumbs down as the channel grows. I understand that but right now it was very easy to tell the one hater that had to go through all the videos and do the thumbs down not cool man not cool also I start filming this special thing in another week or two I can't tell you about it but I should be able to share it with you in three months sometime in the summer maybe and there should also be another big project coming out in summer so Summer of 2019 is going to be very big for the Tyler James fan base. And I can't wait to share everything with you guys. All right, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Tea Time with Tyler James. If you've made it this far, put the clover emoji and the winky tongue out emoji in the comments section down below and I'll know who the real fans are. And as always, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell because I would hate to lose you. I really would. Our pack of rebels is growing. The movement has been started, and I would hate for you to miss any of the awesome content that will be coming out. All right, take care, guys, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, my loves. Okay, now, <clears throat> we'll get this one. So-called entrepreneurs. <clears throat> I don't think that's how it goes. What was I even saying? Yeah, let's keep rolling. My rants always go so much better in the bathroom. All right, all right, all right. Can you deal with that? <laughs> okay, um, what was I saying? I got nothing.